Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 277. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 276 to 284. Hey, in this trick, we have some numbers with dashes in a cell, and we want to be able to add those. Well, we're going to do two steps. And one of the steps is using a custom function. Back in uh, trick 276, I showed you how to download 66 new functions. And we're going to use one of those right here. Hey, we can easily uh, get rid of those dashes and put pluses using the substitute, substitute function. And what it will do is it will say, where is the text? Here's the text, comma. What's the old text we want to take out? In quotes, minus comma, and what's the new text? We want to substitute, in quotes, a plus. Now, if I uh, control enter, that creates a text string, 0, 1, plus 12, plus 13. Well, there's a function that will evaluate that. This function is called eval. And all it does is it takes a text string like this. If, it, if you did this one, it would subtract. If, it, if you have the one right here, it'll add all those numbers. It takes the text strings and evaluates it. So there you go, 55. Now, um, I want to show you how to create a name where you can paste this name in any cell. And it will do this whole formula on the cell above. Now, I have a whole name series that shows you all sorts of name tricks. And this is a pretty tricky one. But um, And there's a link up here with the notes if you want. But let's go ahead. I'm going to scoop this formula out, Control-C, Escape. And the trick to this one, since I want this name formula to be a relative cell reference that will work anywhere on any sheet, I have to um, have the cell highlighted. And in our case, we have one cell above because we only always want to do something one cell above. I'm going to use Control F3, which is our name manager. In earlier versions, it's called Define Names. And I'm going to click New. Now, the name is going to be, I'm going to call it some text. Or no, I'm sorry, evaluate, evaluate text. Right? And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to control V. Now, right now, um, that B14 wouldn't work except for on this sheet. But watch this. If I put my cursor right before B14, and put an explanation point. That explanation point is kind of st is sta is the sim is the syntax for sheet reference. But if you leave it blank before, then it will work on any sheet reference. Now in memory right now, it's not keeping B14. It knows that the cell that's going to get the formula is right here, and it knows that related to this one, it's one above. So really, this will always be one above. Click OK. Click OK, uh, click Close. Now let's see if this works. I'm going to use my paste name key, F3. And I'm going to um, paste eval text. Sure enough, oh, we got uh, 56. Let's try it here. F3, paste name, eval, Enter. Uh, let's try it over here, uh, F3. But the trick is, will it work on a different sheet? Hey, I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut for new sheet. Shift F11, and then I'm going to type a little uh, text string here, 1-9-6-8-8-8, Enter. And then I'm going to do F3 and see if this works. Sure enough. Now watch this. When you click in the cell and Control F3 um, and click on this, you can see that for the moment, it's, it'll show you what it's think it thinks it's looking at, but it's only a relative cell reference. I'm going to click Escape, Escape. All right, uh, that is how to uh, use that eval function we saw from uh, the more functions install and how to have a text string and evaluate it. All right, see you next trick.